The 31st annual hunger hike will take place on Sunday, September 17th. It will be taking place at Reilly Plaza with a walk along trails around Tipawingo Park. Officials talked about the fundraiser's importance and impact. News 18's Ari Curtis has more. This event is part of Food Finders September's Hunger Action Month. So far, they have raised $57,000. During the fundraising event will be live music, food, special activities for the kids, and more. President and CEO of Food Finders in Lafayette says they are in the same situation with food struggles, but with worse numbers. We have to buy more food than we ever have before to keep up with the demand. She says locally there are about 21,000 people who don't know where their next meal will be coming from. The folks that we're serving are, is our community. They're our neighbors, they're your neighbors, they're your friends, they're your folks that you go to church with, that you see in your children's classrooms. Despite those dis dis distressing numbers, we're excited about people coming together at this time. There is something that you can do, and there's always something that we can do to bring awareness to food insecurity. Partnering with them is Purdue's crew team, who's been involved with the organization for decades. It's important to link Purdue students whenever we can uh, to sort of step outside of the university, which is a bit of a closed ecosystem, and step away from what is a bit of a privileged life in college so that they can appreciate the need that's in their local community um, so that as they develop this foundational experience that they're in, they don't just think of what can I do for myself, my career, my next steps, but sort of expand their own well-being to that of others and uh, try to appreciate that their involvement, even if it feels small right now, will become a part of themselves as they go forward in each community they're a part of. The director of Purdue's Black Cultural Center builds upon Coach Walker's statement. We want them to understand that they are part of this community. They live here, they are educated here as well, and this is a benefit to them just as much, and their ability to live and thrive in this community. 40% of Americans believe that people facing food insecurity have made a series of bad choices that have kind of landed them in this situation. We that are in this field and that do this work on a daily basis know that that's not the case. But events like this get you kind of out of your head and into your heart and seeing it live in action. Reporting from West Lafayette, Ari Curtis, News 18. The goal for the fundraiser is $110,000. For more information about the fundraiser, visit WLFI.com.